G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. So, I've taken the opportunity to lay down a couple of coal miners. Um, and literally just taken the opportunity to just have some of the some of the old miners cleaned up. Um, I'm actually going to turn my robots on. Because I want to want to use our upgrade planner. And I want to follow this coal line. And I want to get it upgraded. Because... We're short on coal, which is holding up red circuits, which is holding up basically us going any further forward. Um, we need to have we need to have that production upgraded all the way through um, and have a steady flow of those red circuits to look at the next upgrade. One being more red circuits, two being blue circuits actually, um, or what are they called? Processing units. Um, which will also eat a lot of green circuits. Um, so they're both things that we need to address. And addressed we have. Okay. So that solved that problem. Turn off personal robots. Thank you. I really like night vision. It helps you guys watch. Um, okay, so our robots. Our robots are still waiting on 600 belts. They're going to be a while, to be honest. Um, but I want to duplicate this build once again. So I'm going to copy from here to here. And... We're going to paste that on the end. I'm going to get rid of that rover port. Yep, like so. But I don't want to move all this other stuff. Um, actually, I do want to move that because that gun turret wall can disappear. We can actually even go to our deconstruction planner that is set up for taking off our gun turret. Set it to that and that as well. And go, you know what? Gun turret wall can go away. We're going to leave our power poles. Because they'll make sure we've got power out to the front line. Uh, gun turret wall there to there to there. With the actual wall can all disappear. Uh, where do we? Where were we feeding this in? Uh, turn off that. I oh, can see where things are. Don't need that anymore. Don't need any of that. Any of that. Normal deconstruction planner for that one. And that one. And the couple of little gates we've got in there. Uh, we're going to move that over the top. That over the top. Get rid of those two power poles. Pop a real power pole in there. So it's one, two, three, four. And then, of course, I need those going back that way. That coming that way, that coming that way. Okay, so then I want to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I want to copy there to there and blueprint that on the end. Because I don't mind stepping over um, over these belts and having these belts run through our uh, production. It's, it's not clean, it's not neat, but we don't need clean or neat. We just need functioning. Um, and that's that's probably the biggest difference between my play style and, and some other people you might watch on YouTube. Um, I'm perfectly happy to have things that look a little bit messy, but they function. Um, and a belt going through a middle of a build is perfectly fine in my books. Um, and as for this build, it's not a fast build. Hence, we're going to um, expand it. Slightly. Mm. Can I blueprint again? Yeah, that's as far as we're going to get. So, you actually don't do anything. You don't do anything. But that'll be our new build. We'll take a robo port and pop it in here. And give you a power hookup for when power actually gets built down this far. 
And we'll pop another one there with another power connection. Okay, so that'll upgrade our red circuit production drastically, which is good because the next thing I actually want to work on is I really want to work on science is still not going fast enough, which is silly because it's all ratioed out. It's just the other, the other sciences, the purple, the blue, etc. have had more chance to buffer. Um, can I? Um, okay, Automation 3 will give us faster assemblers. Logistics 3 will give us faster belts. Worker cargo size plus 2 will let our bots carry more. We'll get the faster speed modules, the, the, well, the bigger and better speed, productivity, and efficiency modules. Uh, we'll make the trains break better. Uh, everything from there on requires yellow science, which we don't have yet, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do is purely because they're lacking behind, um, is I'm going to attempt to squeeze a bit more performance out of our red and green science. Just one extra assembler. Um, it should it shouldn't screw up the ratios too much. Um, but we just, we need a bit more out of these guys. Um, in fact, you know what? If I do that. The other sciences get to buffer on longer belts. So everything's built to ratio, it's just the other sciences have had time to, to sit around and buffer whilst we've been umming about and ahhing what to research next, whereas the red and green science doesn't get to do that. Uh, if I do that, and then pop a power pole here, We should be able to go like that. Uh, I'm just going to start blueprinting things because it's faster. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I want to move on to bigger and better things. Same story with this. We're just going to drag that up. Turn it that way. All the way up there. Drag it all the way back down. Uh, copy that. Paste, paste, paste. Uh, place that power pole, that power pole, uh, power pole, power pole. Yep, that's fine. Uh, power pole, power pole. Okay. Speaking of power poles, we're probably missing a whole bunch of them in this build. No, not, not, not as of yet. Uh, but I am missing some power. Yeah, we're just going to leave that build. All right, other things I want to upgrade. I want to not upgrade our belts here, uh, all our power poles. I just want to upgrade the assembly machines for our green sites. And then we might as well at the same time upgrade all the assemblers for our red sites. That even upgrade the ghost ones. Excellent. So that'll again kick the bots into high gear. They're going to have plenty of things to do. Um, they will get them done in good time. We can change that to a normal one. Um, all the ammo that was picked up, the bots are recycling, so that's fine. We need to look at processing units. So processing units require 20 green circuits. They take 10 seconds to craft. So 
It's a lot of green circuits, but it's a very long craft time as well. On top of that, they require two advanced circuits and some sulfuric acid. Main reason we want to get these done is because we want to get the utility science pack. We want that last science pack. It's holding us back um, and it's stopping us finishing off um, the science or the tech tree. If I copy that and paste... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Uh, that failed. That failed hard. Uh, paste that along, paste that along. Just put that to there. We want copper. All those belts and that belt. Is that everything? Is that our main bus? I think so. I just need to extend it right the way out. Uh, actually, you don't do anything, so you can go away. Uh, we actually need you to go pretty left. Paste, paste, paste. Okay, that's a semi clean part of the bus. Go to map view so I can draw a straight line and just drag that further out. Okay, so processing units. We need an assembly machine Mark II. We cannot do this with assembly machine Mark I's because they need to take a liquid input. Um, so we want a processing unit, which is gonna need acid, it's gonna need green circuits, and it's gonna need red circuits, and it's gonna need the output. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to make some room for some green circuits. I'm gonna put another one right beside it with a bit of pipe. Uh, and a bit of underground pipe so I can duplicate this to that side as well then I'm gonna bring in my red circuits and I'll do those on the outside and then I'm gonna finally have my input my output actually let's put our output down the middle so we'll have our output there output Input, uh, tree, go away. Just clear off all the trees. Um, is that going to be enough? Because they take a very, very long time to craft. And we're going to need a lot of them. Um, as you can see from our red circuit build, it's now built all the way down to here. And like... Our green circuits are suffering. They're not getting to the end. I can upgrade them to red belt, and it's probably what we're going to have to do. Um, and our copper belt's not getting there either because there's always one belt missing. Um, and our red our red circuits are look, looking a lot healthier, obviously. But we still haven't finished upgrading all the base. We haven't got all the sciences running. You know, we now need red circuits to run our processing units. Plus, we need low density structures, which are hidden in here, which need more plastic with steel and, and copper plate. So there's there's a lot of things still to go. Um, all right, we'll build it like this to start with, and then if worse comes to worse, we can probably upgrade it and add more on the end same as we did with the red circuits okay so we're gonna have two belts of green circuits coming in green circuits are that one so let's just build this through so i can sort of line up where things are going to be we're going to want a green circuit here uh, yeah and then we'll underground that one as well. We'll bring our green circuits down into this belt. 
and a couple of inserters. Green circuits in, blue circuits out, power pole in the middle, and red circuits in on that side. So red circuits are always at the top of the bus, miles away. Just get these built so we can trace our red circuits along the bus. Uh, we want here. Again, there's a tree in the way. Okay, we want to go down to there, down to there, down to there. That's fairly easy. Line that up. Left. Run our red circuits down through here. And then onto the input of this. Uh, hook that up to the last, the last thing so we can power that up. Which means I should be able to just copy this as is and paste it on that side. Um, obviously, we're going to need more... We need more green circuits, which is right there. So we want left. And the idea is, as I said before, that this is going to push potentially a full belt of green circuits down this way. This guy is going to take a full belt of green circuits and bring it down onto that bottom line again. Um, this guy's going to bring it down here. This guy's going to bring it down here. So we're always moving our green circuits down to the bottom side of the bus. Uh, okay, red circuits, same story. We need to plug you guys in again. Uh, I'm more than happy just to ghost this in for now. And have the robots deal with it. Although I have a feeling we're right on the edge, if not outside construction range. Uh, there and there. Uh, are we outside construction range? Almost. Um, sorry, we can just add more robot ports. Uh, like so. No, I want power. Okay, so that's, that's part of a build done. The next thing we need is acid, because this is, this is another one of those assemblies that actually requires a liquid input as well. So we're going to have to go back to our oil and we're going to find, have to find out where our acid is and start getting acid moved up the bus to this point. So we're running acid at the moment straight up to batteries and nowhere else. Um, do I have room? Yes, yeah, so I could actually run it right here above the gear belt. So that's probably what we're going to do. So we'll bring our acid out on this side. Bring it up to there. Run it to there. Put in that pipe. And then hopefully we should be able to just run up the bus and slot it in between the belts wherever we need to. Purple science, that's where we want to be. Uh, okay, so let's go underground there. Bring this up as far as we can. Bring this along to here. Put that in. Now, I can run... I can... It's, it's entirely possible to keep running that acid belt, that acid pipe further up the bus. Um... But honestly, chance are you probably don't need it. Um, what's stopping our acid from flowing out? One corner pipe all the way down there. It's always one pipe that you miss. Okay, there we go. We've got acid in the pipe. Which now means, hopefully... Uh, left. Hopefully, 
we should have the start of some blue circuits. Yes, we do. Okay, so we've got our little build. Um, we obviously are going to want... We'll use the upgrade planner now. Because I want to put things down in the right color wherever possible. Um, happy to use my own supplies just to get the start of the build done. So, no, we need another hookup like that. So, if I now copy this in its entirety, we should be able to use upgrade planner on things. No, upgrade planner. Click in there. Okay, that didn't work. Hold down shift when copying to make a blueprint. We're going to give you the icon of blue circuits. We're going to save that. We're going to bring up our inventory. We're going to look at our blueprint. Nope, that still failed. Okay. Highlight blueprint. No. Highlight blueprint. Hold down shift to bring up the edit window. Select those. Create blueprint. Now I need to put that in my inventory so it's saved. Click on the upgrade planner. And that should... No. Mm. Place an upgrade planner here to upgrade the items and entities in the blueprint. Like that. No, what's that upgrade planner set to? Oh, it's not set to belt. Okay. Red, no. Upgrade yellow to red. Uh, we've already got good power poles. So that should be all we need. So if I open that, no. If I click on that, no. I'm going to get this eventually. If I... How do I... That's how you do it. That's... Okay, that's really convoluted. So now I actually want to go from blue back to red. Okay, and from assembler threes, because I don't have assembler threes down to assembler twos. That's a little bit weird, but okay. So we now we know now know how to use the upgrade planner to upgrade a blueprint. That's the part we're trying to get to. Uh, okay, go away and paste said blueprint. And I just got built into a pipe. Thanks, robots. Okay. Oh! Mistakes happened. Uh, oh, and it's upgraded the inserters as well. Okay. There comes a point where it's quicker and easier just to rebuild it and copy it correctly the first time. Okay. Uh, paste. That one. Uh, that power pole can go out of the way. No. It's still important. Paste. Paste. No, I'm missing... I'm missing stuff. We want that. Okay. Fifth time's a charm, right? Paste. 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 Pasty, 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 pasty. Uh, said the Irishman to the Englishman. Uh, okay, one of those power poles was obviously important. Put that back. Oil's got power again. This is as far as we can build because this oil is definitely in the way. Uh, but, in theory, when robots 
Uh, not enough Logi storage. Really? We filled up what storage we had. Yeah, because I don't have recycling. We need to look at better recycling. Okay. Ooh. All right, so I want fast transport belt straight down. So let's help the robots out and get this belt placed. Almost to the end, that's the end. Help the robots out and get this one placed as well. Start placing this one. Uh, that can go away. Place this one. See, anything in a straight line is quick and easy for you to place. It takes the bots the same amount of time to place intricate stuff as it does to place simple straight belts. So I normally recommend, even if you're like me and you're blueprinting the whole giant blueprints at once, if the robots haven't built it and you're standing around waiting, start placing the easy stuff. Start placing the straight stuff. Start placing the stuff that you just run along and do. Um, I don't want to deal with assemblers or pipes or any of that crap. That all seems like a giant pain, pain in the ass to me. Um... That's normal speed belt, so I want to upgrade that eventually. Uh, and right there. No. Transport belt. Fast transport belt. So we've still got some yellow belt right there and some yellow belt right there. Okay. So now you're going faster. We can pick up these advanced circuits. And it hopefully means, after we find 20 engines, we can make some power armor. Which means we can get to the next tech for our personal armor. Uh, electric engines are being made all the way over here somewhere as part of our... Yeah. I'm going to just upgrade those defenses slightly because that's a lot of dead carcasses. They even tried coming in this way. We could probably do with some um, some gates there to let the trains through and keep the biters out. Um, electric engines. There they are. Okay. We can now make a power armor. So the biggest difference between a modular armor and a power armor is the equipment size of 5x5 five five gets increased to 7x7 seven seven, and our inventory bonus slot of 10 ends up with 20. So we actually have more room in our inventory for more crap, um, which is always a bonus. On top of that, if we swap that over, you'll see 10 more inventory slots. I've opened this up, more room to put stuff. So we're going to take all of this out. We're going to open up our bigger one. We're going to put in those, that, 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 that. Uh, slide that down, slide that down. Put the solar panels in there because they're a bit of an awkward shape. Put our rover port up there. The batteries, unfortunately, discharge instantly. Um, but also, now that we have the advanced circuits, we just need low density structures. And we can start actually upgrading from like our energy shield, which does... Uh, shield hit points 50 up to shield hit points 150 for the same 2x2 two two dimensions. And same with the batteries. There are 1x2 with 20 megajoules of power. We can go up to 100 megajoules of power and still with a 1x2 uh, uh, footprint. So we can start getting some better personal equipment to put in our armor. Don't have better, better power at this stage. That's still at least a couple of researchers away. Um, how is... Oh, they didn't do anything about more storage. Um, lazy robots. Uh, come on. Let me through all this. Uh, and we also need to do something about more, more solid fuel for more power. And you can see, even with all the upgrades I've done to get red circuits running a little bit faster... Um, well, now we've got a plastic problem, so that's a separate issue. 
um, definitely a separate issue. But we still don't have nearly enough red circuits. They're all being eaten as fast as we can make them. Um, okay, so storage is over here. Let's fix this problem. Which is too much wood in the network. Yeah, 8.6k wood in the network. Um, okay, let's go do something about that whilst we wait. Um, actually, that can go back in there. Uh, there's just no copper. No, we're also now eating all our copper as fast as we can to run green circuits. Awesome. So, minor upgrades here and there, you suddenly find you have giant problems elsewhere in the base. Um, wood. That's what I was doing. I am going to... Request wood. Uh, not 100. 20,000 wood. I am going to put wood into this chest and only this chest and we're going to dump it on a belt to be burnt and unfortunately we're going to have to stand here for a little bit and wait for logistics bots to bring me 20,000 wood from storage um, whilst we're here we can sort of clear out the inventory we don't need rockets well, let's keep the rockets. Um, what don't we need? We do not need... Okay, so I don't need that. I don't need the red inserters. I don't need the blue inserters. I do not need those inserters. We can change that back to 50. Uh, get rid of that as well. I do not need yellow belt anymore. Uh, I don't need yellow splitters. We'll just stick to the red stuff for now. Um, I can get rid of that, I can get rid of that, I can get rid of those. Um, three landfill I can live without, that's for sure. Wood is slowly ending up my inventory, and I can just control click and dump it into this chest where it will get popped onto the belt and fed into our lovely boilers, which will dispose of it permanently. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to end this episode for right now. Um, I'm going to spend a moment between episodes to clean out the inventory, so to speak, um, clean out storage. Um, at the same time, just leave the robots running for a little bit to, to upgrade some more belts because oh, it's actually going as fast as possible. It's going as fast as it can. It's just, we're just using them so fast. Uh, no, we've also got power problems because I've obviously got too many robots doing too many things. Uh, that's not helping. Yeah, I've probably got 10,000 robots. Yeah, finding spots to charge. Oh, I'm putting it in storage. It's coming straight back out of storage into my inventory. So we're just going to have to sit here and wait till my inventory fills up. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, we're up to uh, processing units. We need to make another lot of flying robot frames just to run utility science, along with looking at low density structures, both of which we can do probably in the next episode. Um, research wise, like we've got a little bit of everything going. Um, we should probably look at uranium processing. Um, maybe this episode, maybe. maybe maybe next episode as well there's a half a dozen things that we can do so i'm gonna leave it here thank you guys for watching as always do hope you're enjoying i will see you guys in the next episode where we do stuff because there's lots of options to do and i can't decide which one i'm gonna do because decisions are hard sometimes anyway i'm gonna leave it here thanks for watching see you next one bye